Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone. Um, so that was an interesting podcast in the morning. Um, it was. I'm still, yeah, I'm still booting up right now, but <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. It was, it was really awesome sharing his experience like that. So now time for the next one. Next one okay. is... Birkis Dalu. Building, yeah, Birkis Dalu for a building, mobile, uh, building modern web UIs with Tailwind CSS. I recently became a big fan of Tailwind CSS. Actually, I love Tailwind CSS. Okay. Uh, it, it gives you so much more control over what you want to do. But I'm not going to spoil this. I think we should bring Bilkis okay. in. Okay, <laughs> let's go for this. Hello, Bilkis. Thank you for joining us. Hey, hey, hi. How, are, How you? are you doing? Ah, I'm we are good. good. <laughs> so we're all good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're all it's good. It's Friday. I mean, it's Friday. And it's day three of our conference. Uh, you've been following a bit the previous days, day one and day two, a few sessions yeah, here and there. You know, when coding and just jump into yeah. the conference a bit and then just coding. Yeah, you and, can't, you know, I mean, it's, awesome. it's, it's just Marvin and I who like us stay, uh, stay tuned in, you know, whole day. <laughs> Eight oh, to nine on. We have quite like, a few people in the chat who are like keeping us company. But they need to eat, oh, so okay. it's okay for them. <laughs> it's okay. I know that you. you are, I'm sure you tuned in in one or two sessions. The the yes, really yes, awesome. Yes. Maybe you saw they built a robot yesterday in another uh, in another room. Um, so, Birkis, just tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and what you're going to talk about before we jump into the session. Okay, so um, Bilkis Sadu, so I'm a full-time developer since 10 years now, yes, and I have recently uh, created my company, uh, so mainly on consulting and training, uh, but mostly on building a beautiful UI, uh, web uh, UI, uh, with a bootstrap and tailwind and everything. Yeah, That's I've it. heard, I've actually heard really good things about um, about what your company does. We, I think we're going to get a little bit into that um, afterwards. So for now, let's just leave the floor to you. Go for your sessions okay. and um, your session and have fun. For the viewers, don't forget, um, yeah. leave, leave your, your comments, comments in the chat. Back. See, she knows now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Thanks so much, Big Kiss. The floor is yours. Uh, thanks. Okay. Yeah. So today we'll be talking about building modern web UI with Tailwind CSS. Let me just reintroduce myself. So as I was telling, uh, I'm a senior front-end developer and I have uh, mostly been uh, doing development uh, in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually I'm doing consulting and training, Angular training. And I love good UI. So I think for me, design can make a difficult task easy. So today, what are we going to look about? Of course, Tailwind. But we'll be using Angular as uh, a backbone for the test. What is Tailwind? Tailwind, of course, is a CSS framework but not a UI framework. What is different? Unlike Bootstrap or Foundation, Tailwind has a predefined UI component, only with utility clauses. We'll look up about that in the demo part. So the utility, uh, the utility clauses in Tailwind CSS for, follow an intuitive uh, convention. It is easy to learn, and, there, and therefore uh, you, you will see throughout the demo how it is really intuitive. And there are many plugins uh, in different IDE that can help you with. The utility clauses here, as you can see, uh, like for example, text gray 900, that will uh, set the color to, uh, to a dark gray, and the BG, uh, the BG blue curves will set the background to blue, uh, a light blue. And if you are applying a rounded LG close to any element, it will set the border ridges. 
So let's look at another example. Uh, as uh, Tilwin is a mobile first, uh, so it look uh, really about the responsive layouts. So if you want uh, to do like for any any uh, any uh, size screen with 16, you just put with 16. But if you want to do like medium screen uh, a 20 a 32 width, you just add the MD in front of the width 32, and for the medium screen you would take it. Uh, and for the, the larger screen, you just add LG and you add any uh, utility clause for the width, it will set, uh, like for this one, it will set to 48. Uh, in Tailwind, you get, you have also the direct functions. So the main function here is Tailwind, of course. At Tailwind, it will inject the components, utilities in the CSS clauses and apply, you just add any uh, clauses, even for the tailwind clauses or even your clauses, you just add it to apply and it will inherit the whatever you have defined in the clause. Okay, so then let's look how we are going to use the apply. For example, if I want to create only a CSS and I want to add a, 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 a shadow, to the, to the button and add a background of blue, a text or whatever clauses I want to inherit from the utility clause from Tailwind or my clause, I just put it after the apply and whenever I'm using the clause button, it will just inherit all the clauses or utility, utility clauses I put here after the apply. So let's look at an actual example. Here, as you can see, there is a code. So what we are basically doing, it's just, just to have uh, the image at the left, we have put uh, the parent a flex, a, a clause of flex, but MD it will just apply for the thing. So I have added uh, a rounded edge for the border regions and a, a width of 56. And next, we will be adding the text on the right. So uh, in the parent, I have added the flex and the two div will take, will be in line because of the flex. And let's look at this, the first one, for example, marketing. As you can see, you just add the upper the uppercase clause, utility clause, and you just take it. And you can add any any color. Here it's text indigo uh, 600, and you can add a font bold and text SM. And the next one, it's an inline element, and if you want to have it as a block element, you just add the clause block, and that's it. And you can add uh, all the clauses you, you need to make it like gray uh, 900. And here we have added for the margin top, we have added an empty, empty for margin top of two. And if you want a margin bottom, also we could add MB for the margin bottom. It's really simple to, to, to add to use the utility clauses, what Tilwin uses. So now let's look at an actual case study. Yes. So as you know, as you know, uh, this year's conference is about comic book and superhero. And with all the events in 2020s, we need hero. I think we need hero more than ever. And as such, the government around the world have contacted us, yes, and have requested a platform for listing heroes and villains throughout the world. Yes, words in plurals. And therefore, we have built a prototype and we've used 
uh, Tailwind, uh, Tailwind CSS for the UI. So let's have a look. I think that's a bit curly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you can see, so it's basically we do a search about the heroes. Let's say like Deadpool. I want to see a bit about Deadpool. So as you can see, we are listing the Deadpool. Yes, there are di three different uh, categories of of uh, of God. Uh, the the white one is the good, and the blue one is neutral one, and the black one, of course, is the bad one. <laughs> and let's see uh, how we are how we are doing this. You see all the UI that, that we have done here. There's only 19 lines of CSS. Yes, for the entire application, there's only 19 lines. And what we are basically doing for this CSS is just adding uh, a background image. Which one? It's this one. This background image. Yeah, so how are we doing uh, this uh, gradient? Let's, let's take a look at the gradient. So here, yes, I've been using uh, Angular. Uh, so here, the gradient here is only this utility clause, BG gradient to be O, meaning that it's taking the gradient from the top left to the bottom right. And from orange, we are taking the orange and via red to pink. That's simple. It's from orange 400 via red to pink. It's straightforward. So, yes, I think it's a bit too girly. What do you think? Let's change this to blue. Remove the orange and I'll put blue, like 800 blue. And this one, I will put another blue, like 400. And let's see. Yes, as you can see, uh, it's building. So as you can see, you can have a plugin to help you with all the clauses. And let's see. Oh, wow. It's like blue to pink. That's, that's not like good <laughs> now. So just let me know in the comment which one you prefer. Is it the orange one or the big one? <laughs> Yes, as you can see, it's really easy to change uh, an ingredient. But in other CSS frameworks, that would be a long work trying to do a mixing and adding the uh, starting color to the ending color. And here it's right, just a CSS close, and that's it. And next, we look at the code. Uh, the code here. Actually, what I've been doing uh, as Angular, <laughs> as I work uh, really a lot on Angular, I'm trying to do like, okay, different views by switching uh, the list view to the God view. And let's see uh, how it is. Yes, because we'll be using uh, dynamically the clauses. I've checked the alignment of the code, and if the alignment is bad, uh, this one black, uh, I just put the background uh, to black, to black, sorry, and if the alignment is neutral, I just put a, a blue, and if it's good, uh, it's remain to uh, white.
So yes, uh, what I have been doing, I have, I have been connecting to an API of superheroes, and I'm just listing. I'm just looping on on the API uh, on the listing, and then I'm, I've been adding all the clusters and built up uh, the UI, and it was quite easy and really straightforward. The 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 thing is that I have been a bit further and I'll check uh, for the bars up here with the clusters but it's mainly uh, tearing uh, into it and as you can see it's really straightforward because the clusters are so uh, explain it, it's it's really uh, straightforward you can you can see uh, like you want to add a shadow you just add shadow and the and that's really straightforward. And the last part is only if you want, because for some some people, I think they would be like, so, oh God, it's so many clauses. How would I remember and apply everything on each code everywhere? Just to be like, if you want to use only one clause, you can add it in the Tailwind build CSS and you create by apply uh, on any type like code or search or anything you want to do. And I think that's it. That's it for the demo. Uh, I just want to share a bit of the resources. I have been uh, working with uh, Tailwind documentation and the Superhero API and the database. Uh, the, the repo is on GitHub. And there is also a live, I have posted it. And if you want to know about how to integrate Tailwind uh, in an Angular application, there is my blog there uh, on the slide, you can look into it. So I think that's it for me. Hi. <laughs> hey, that was a quick and intense one. Oops, okay. <laughs> um, no, nothing wrong with that. Okay. So. We actually do have some questions. Yes. Um, <laughs> in the chat, um, there's Alvin Balgo who was asking about Tailwind. The, the the main issue that people see with Tailwind is the clause. It gets longer and longer. Yes. Yes. So, um, how does that affect the HTML? Is that not a problem? Um, in the end, what do you think about that? You know, actually, uh. I know you have been working with Bootstrap and a and lot of person. Uh, I know how it's it's trouble because all the sites re resemble, you know, it's a Bootstrap thing because it have the predefined. But actually, with the the uh, the UI uh, like really light UI, I prefer uh -huh. to use Tailwind. And because you can set up the clusters one by one and yeah. define your structure. But if it's too much, that's why I was saying you can apply everything to one clause and then that's it. You just uh, take uh, this clause and apply it to the code. You don't need to have all those all clauses. Of the and, yeah. yeah, I know that can be a bit, uh, uh, if you are not uh, <laughs> ready for this. You know, yeah, when, the, when, I start, yeah. when I have started Tailwind, it was like, oh, why did I choose Tailwind? But afterward, you have so much uh, interesting, and you can go really, like, you can choose any any UI, and yeah, it's, it's easy to do it. So it's not really about um, always using all of the classes, like this row in the HTML. Yes, you can yes. always, in a way, com combine them and... Um, Exactly. Uh, that can help you clean up your HTML. Yeah, um, and also I think it's uh, th there are always you know pros and cons. Things you're giving up to get other things. So yes. um, to get those benefits of Tailwind, uh, you have this. You have the clauses. Okay, that's a that's a potential downside. As you can see, it can be mitigated to some extent. But yes. then you have that um, lightweight CSS, that control over it, and all of the things that come with it. Plus, if you if you purge it, which um, Tailwind supports purge uh, when you're building 
if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. um, or if you use Purge CSS itself. Um, yes. This reduces, so it's, you are not really getting more um, weight uh, in terms of HTML. It's rather that um, you are getting some, a little bit more there, but you are losing a lot more from the CSS point of view. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's all about uh, how we use it, I guess. Uh, actually, I think it depends on your project. If, uh, if it's a bootstrap like, yeah, yeah, go with bootstrap. But if if it's really a design, you know, some designer, uh, they are thing that they do, and it's really a headache with uh, yeah. the the framework like bootstrap. You see, and with <laughs> this, you can actually do anything you want. And yeah, <laughs> that control really is cool. awesome. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> and there is yeah, there is someone who's mentioning that in the comment um, Q. His, his, his YouTube name is Q. Uh, so um, about how when you have these classes um, mentioned verbose like this in the in the HTML, it kind of removes the guessing game. So you know exactly what's being done to this. So if I hand over this project, this HTML to someone else who knows the exactly. utilities, yes. he'll know exactly what I've been doing here. He doesn't have to go and check my CSS to understand, yeah, what, what did you do? <laughs> so and yeah, that's the... The yeah. advantage of the gradient, as you saw, it's <laughs> exactly. wow, it's really wow, and that's um, what I, I love about it. Yes, and Ovin Bago approves, he gives a, he gives a thumbs up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's all about how you use the technology. I think Tailwind is making um, it's 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 making strides in terms of um, how Definitely. this adoption rate, how people are loving it. It's 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 oh, like this with it. technologies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are uh, there are people who are going to adopt it and are going to love it right away. There are people who are going to slowly get to know it and then love it. Yes. And there are those who are like, no, this is not for me. I, this is a good thing. We have so many choices, so many options. Um, there is no good and bad, really. It's more about what you want to do. What do you want yes. for it? And choose your thing. And what you need. And what you need. need. Yes. Well, if we, if we go deeper, then it goes into uh, what your client needs as well. But <laughs> yes, <laughs> but yeah, tell me. And, I think tell me is you, awesome. Uh, Vitush, actually, if you have been using like Bootstrap, it's, it's been. easy because <laughs> the classes are is so it's so alike. You see, uh, yeah, you won't yeah. you won't get the, like oh, what these classes do. It's really like straightforward, and you know what what's doing. Yeah, I I kind of um. I kind of used, I'm, I'm going to admit, I kind of used Bootstrap like Tailwind. Like Tailwind is for me um, the, the right version of Bootstrap, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. definitely. I've been using Bootstrap. There are some common things here like PX, P, um, PT, PB, yes. so for the padding. The advantage um, so here with PX, it's, right. you don't need yeah. to do like P left, uh, PL for uh, yeah. padding left and so PY this... and doing the same. Yeah. Exactly. This this is something a bit reminiscent of what Bootstrap also offers. So you're not completely moving to something new yes. as such if you come from a Bootstrap background. I think it's just that you're getting some more things that Tailwind offer, like that gradient, mm -hmm. for example. That's not that's not Bootstrap. So <laughs> that's something yeah. Tailwind. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think, think it's, uh, I think they are going to adopt it on on Bootstrap. You will see uh, if you want. Yeah, that's yes, that's, that's, a, that's a possibility. The, yeah. the way I think about it is, um, Bootstrap gives you the components. I mean, I, I'm sure people are aware of this, but it gives you the component. It styles it. So you're basically getting mm -hmm. components to use. Yes, exactly. They really yes. is giving you style for your components yes. in a okay. way. That's that's how I look at it. You just and answered my new question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was actually going to ask what's the difference <laughs> between both. But See, like, okay, you know, I get it now. I, I can read your mind now. It's day three. <laughs> I'm starting to get it, guys. <laughs> I told you by the end of day three, you're going to be a, a techie. I, I see you uh, going into front end. I'm telling you, I see you going into front end. I'm going to Bilkis <laughs> soon. Hey, actually, you can, Bilkis can, can, um, can get yeah. you started, kickstart yeah. you with that. Anytime. So, <laughs> no, but <laughs> seriously, talking about um, the coaching, the training that you do, why don't, don't you okay. talk a bit more about yeah, that? Um, about how this is doing. Yeah. Yes. See, uh, Marin is interested. 
Me on yes. Monday, showing up oh. at your place. <laughs> hey, please take me on. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Actually, yes, I've been uh, like 10 years in the industry, mostly Fontaine. I've touched a little bit of Node.js and PHP, but I just like, love uh, Fontaine. And after 10 years, mm, I see. I need to give uh, to the community back. That's why uh, me, uh, as a co-founder, with Christophe uh, as co-founder, we have created the uh, Textfile Labs. And we are doing, you know, as it's uh, Angular. So we are giving Angular training. Sorry. All right. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. And uh, I must admit, you know, uh, Angular with Devin, I think it's a match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But do you have any um, any plans in the future to move from Angular to go to other front-end frameworks? React? Oh, definitely. Um... Devin, I'm going my next, uh, my, <laughs> my next project. I'm on it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, with that in mind, I think this was a really great session, really informative. And for someone who wants to get started with Tailwind, this kind of puts forward yeah. everything you have to gain. Um, if you have any closing remarks, things you want to say, maybe um, to, to, to the viewers, now is the time before we close off. How about that? Um, I think uh, just, just try it uh, and you will see how it's interesting if you like. If you like it, you have already adopted it. And if you don't <laughs> like it, yeah, maybe it's not for you. But yeah, uh, yeah. approach it from a neutral sure. point of view and try yes. it. <laughs> yes, but try it. Uh, I think, Vidush, you can uh, just drop in the slide so you can get access with the Tailwind documentation and all the stuff we have been using for this uh, small talk. All right. Yeah, so if you yeah, want, sure. we'll drop them in the chat. Yes, I sorry, everyone can have access have, to it. I have the link right here. Um, so I'm going to share it in the chat. Um, you guys, okay. you know what to do. Remove the spaces between the dots because links are a no-no on live chat. Oh, so okay. We, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just remove the spaces between the dots and let's, let's make as if I never sent a link. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks to you. Thanks so much for your time. We hope it to see you next fun. year. Yeah. yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think we always see Birkis. She's always been yes, part of Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Christophe as well. Say hi to him. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, all right. See you. So, okay. see you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, okay. everyone. Just us. Um, yes. So, how did you find it, Marine? Ready to jump? Go it's for really time. interesting. I need someone to, like, you know, hold your teach hand. Me Yes, please. <laughs> Anyone. Here it is. <laughs> she, she, she's sending a call out. Everyone who are viewing right now, now is your chance. Become yeah, a sensei. Just, guys, <laughs> tell me where to start. All right. I think I think I can send you a few links. Oh, Bilkis is gonna <laughs> is gonna get in yeah, touch with I'm you, maybe. I'm going to get in touch with Bilkis. <laughs> so with for... that, um we actually have the next session in 30 minutes. Um so how about we take a little break, get some breakfast, get something, maybe brunch for you, I don't know. And uh, <laughs> let's come back in 30 minutes. What do you think? Okay, guys, see you later with Ish Sukun. Hey, Ooh. he's coming over from Krypton. He's joining us. the private cloud. Yes, I mean, we we an awesome team. Of course he wants yeah. to be here. Uh, I mean... This is this is this is the right move for him. So yeah, if hey Q, Q is Christophe. Hey Christophe, how are you doing? Hey. <laughs> All right. So Ishi is gonna come here. I'm counting on you guys to make sure that he stays on our channel. He stays on our feed, right? Yeah. In the chat, just send him plenty of questions, send him plenty of feedback, and it's Ish. He's gonna take up all of it. So let's see you guys in 30 minutes. See you later. Right. Cheers.